Uh, Nurse Hatchison, I'm wondering if I might borrow a couple of cotton balls. No, the band is practicing again. I'm afraid so. Those tone-deaf maggots couldn't carry a tune in a wheelbarrow. Hmm, Maggie Pesky, huh? What's her mystery ailment this time? It's hard to say. She doesn't show a temperature, but she came in with a cough. Uh, achoo! I mean... <laughs> Plus, she has that thing again where she thinks she's an ailing southern belle. Oh, my sweet nurse! I can feel the vapors sitting in. If my love to my bride's winning show pony family. This is the worst I've ever seen it. I think we should send her home. Wait just a high school minute. Since when are some vague, unprovable symptoms and a stunningly mediocre southern accent grounds to send a student home sick? Sir, you insult my honor! My daddy the colonel would roll over in his grave if he heard you calling me a faker. Oh, really? Well, first of all, Miss Pesky, I had a parent conference with the colonel last week. Secondly, even you can't really expect anyone to buy this ridiculous routine. Wait, I think I see Big Daddy. It's your little girl. I'm coming home, Daddy. Hi, <laughs> hi, dear, dear, dear. The girl is delirious. I'm the nurse. I said she goes home. Psh, very well, then. Here's your pass back to the plantation. <laughs> See y'all later. Girl, I have to hand it to you. You have mad bacon sick skills. You should have seen Pastor's face. I almost felt bad. You had to do it. How else were we gonna get tickets for the Flamin' Moth show before they sell out? Uh, next. Gotta go. Hello, I'd like two $6 tickets to the Flaming Moth Show. And sorry, the cheap seats have sold out. All we have left are the VIP section, and that's like $75 a seat. What? $75? My friend are the biggest Flaming Moth fans ever. We just can't miss their show. Tell you what, how about I give you $12 and we leave after three songs, huh? What do you say? Next. Oh. What? $150 to see a bunch of burning butterflies? <sighs> they're the Flaming Moths and they're only the most fantastic band ever. If you want extra money, why don't you do what I did when I was your age? I had my own business, lots of them in fact. I shoveled driveways in the driving blizzards of winter. I seeded gardens in the blistering heat of summer. And then there was the magical spring I dabbled in the arts as a street mime. No one flew against the wind like me. I still think I have my tights somewhere. You in tights? I'd say you owe me 150 bucks just for putting that picture on my head. Sorry, Maggie. If you want that money, show some initiative like your old man. Start a business. A business? Doing what? I don't know. Figure out something you're really good at and do it. I know. I could start a business where people give me money to go to concerts. Nice try, Maggie, but no. Or in the language of mime... Oh, Chauncey, you still got it. A business, huh? There's a tough one. Uh -oh. Well, Miss Pesky, I see you've recovered from your spell. What can I say, Mr. P? You are in such an exciting school, I just couldn't stay away. I have to hand it to you, Pesky. When it comes to faking, you're quite good. Perhaps the best I've ever seen. But no one thing. I am on to you, and I am watching you. That's two things. Get to class. Going. Wow. Even Principal Pester thinks you're a great faker. Yeah. Now, if we could just come up with an idea for a business. <gasps> I got it! I don't know, Maggie. A kid to help kids fake being sick? Are you sure this is gonna work? Look, is it not every kid's precious right to pretend to be sick once in a while to blow off school? Well, yeah. I think it's in the Constitution. And who better to help them achieve that goal than the greatest faker of all time? And just look at these kids. They have everything. Pale face makeup. <laughs> A rigged fever thermometer? Tonsil rouge? Ah! A compilation of delirious rants? And my personal favorite, bug barf in a bottle. Pat and Fendi. We are gonna make a fortune! Hold on! You heard Pestrip. He's watching me. That means we have to keep the operation on the down low. We just sell to the kids we know. We make our 150 for the tickets and we're out. Here you go, courtesy of Sick Days Incorporated. Are you sure this will get me out of the ass? Easy as one plus one. Huh? Uh, you may not want to skip too much math. Oh, Maggie, you gotta help us get out of gym. It's dodgeball day. Lefty will pummel us into smithereens. We have money. 
Eugene, Wendell, we go back a long way. Tell you what, I'm gonna help you kids out. This kit has everything you need. Oh, oh thank you, Maggie. Thank you. This needs to be our little secret. Got it? Oh, got it. Thanks, Maggie. Hey, girls, can I talk to you? Sure, Lefty, what's up? Yeah, just a sec. I need to get out of science. I, I heard you could help me. You, sir, have come to the right. Sorry, Lefty, I don't know what you're talking about. But the sick days, kids. I, I heard you're the one who's selling them. Look, I brought cash. Great. Buy yourself a sandwich. I can't help you. Eh, hey, whatever. I don't get it. We could have made a sale. Yeah, to one of Pestrip's goons. Lefty? He wouldn't work for Pestrip. He's not the type. Exactly what Pestrip wants us to think. Remember, we gotta play it smart. We keep the operation small, we'll be in the VIP section. Slip up. And detention, child. Oh, baby, I can't go in there. I tell you, I can't. Tell me I'm not going in there. Rain, get a grip. Everything's under control. Hey, I hear you have one of those Sick Days Incorporated kids. Let me borrow the stick-on pox for quiet practice. Get him back tomorrow by detention? Done. Oh, 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 man. I can't take much more of this. Did you bring the kit? In my backpack. Switch on three. <laughs> hey, you. You with the rosy complexion. You uh, seem kind of healthy. Looking to catch something? You, uh, holding a kit? Depends. You got cash? Well, Principal Pestrip, fresh off the market. Mm-hmm. A sick day kit, huh? That's the fake puke, sir. <laughs> it's pure. Do you know the source? I did some checking. Kids tend to get real chatty with me, you know? Maybe it's my smile, maybe it's my threats. The source, Lefty, who is the source? I traced it back to Maggie. Pesky. Pesky. <laughs> the sick day kit, sick mastermind. I suspected as much. Well done. Dismissed. Not so fast. Did you uh, forget our agreement? Of course not, Lefty. Here. <gasps> Help yourself to the lost and found box. <laughs> A yo yo. <laughs> Maggie Pesky, your sick days are numbered. Hey, partner. Perfect. We have just enough here for our two tickets. Girl, sick this rocks. There's the bell. Now, I just have to get to Cricket Master at the mall before they sell out. Uh-oh, Maggie. Something is wrong here. Look over there! It's Pestrip's safety monitors! Have a visual on pesky making approach. He's on to you! That way! <gasps> <gasps> They're everywhere! What do I do? Oh, uh, I'll create a diversion! But what if you get caught? Forget about me. Just get them tickets! The subject's moving. Get her! Them all. Oh, sorry, miss. I'm calling in sick today. Ah! Where did you get this? Oh, I got a nephew at Buzzdale Academy. Said they're all over the place. Oh, my bug, what have I done? Ah, chow! Yeah, they stay on better if you don't fix me so hard. Yikes! I need two VIP tickets for the Flaming Moth show. Sorry, but I'm, like, going home sick. Sick? You too? Yes. A chew? What about my tickets? Try the box office at the arena. <gasps> two VIP tickets to the Flaming Moth Show. Oh, you're in luck, miss. We have two front row seats left. In detention. <gasps> Principal Pestrip! It's over, pesky. Boys! You gotta admit, Pestrip, you and me, we had quite a run, didn't we? Yeah, Pesky, quite a run. Take her away. 3,472 cotton balls, 3,473 cotton balls. How is cotton ball inventory going? Okay, I guess. I'm almost done. Achoo! Oh, please give it a rest, Pesky. But 
I'm really sick. This is your detention, now you're acting class. Do you want me to call Principal Pestre? <coughs> Fine. Uh, where was I? Oh. Good cotton ball. Two cotton balls. Ah! <laughs>